The statistics that surround modern day slavery are absolutely horrendous. There are an estimated 27 million people who are enslaved in the world today. There are stories about modern day slaves that are absolutely horrific. There are people who are enslaved in brothels in Southeast Asia. There are kids who are forced to pick cocoa on the Ivory Coast. There are children in Uganda who are forced to kill each other in the civil war that's going on there right now. When there are people being so abused in the world today, it's unacceptable for us to sit in our comfortable homes, in our comfortable areas, and not reach our hand out to those who need to have a voice, those who need to be freed from the oppression that they live in. Hi, my name's Sally. I consider myself a modern day abolitionist. Last February, me and my mom went to see the movie Amazing Grace, which was a movie about a man named William Wilberforce. He was an 18th century abolitionist. He fought against slavery in the British Empire during the transatlantic slave trade. He was a parliamentarian, which is basically like a congressman in the US, and he, for his entire life, pushed with a lot of perseverance to have slavery abolished within the British Empire, and that ended up leading to it being abolished around the world. And so, I was, once we got out of that movie, it was really inspiring to me because of the fact that he was a man of really deep faith and that's what motivated him to do the things that he did and also the fact that he had some of the same passions that I have for things like law and stuff like that. And so I ended up going to see their website which was amazingchange.com and it focused on the issue of modern day slavery and the need for modern day abolitionists. So after I got onto that website I started to kind of dig deeper into what modern day slavery was and what we needed to do about it and what was going to have to happen to stop modern day slavery. And so I just started to really dig into it and start saving resources and things like that. And so I ended up, as I was trying to discover the things that I might be able to do to help in the fight against slavery, I found out that there weren't a lot of resources for high school students. And so I ended up compiling a bunch of resources and putting together ideas and putting together information and packets and that sort of thing in a CD. And so those CDs we now use to equip other people. And so through me learning about it and through me researching about it, I just felt that pull on my heart from God saying that I can't just sit here while there are people suffering like that around the world. And I just, just use the talents that He's given me and the passion that I have to do something that was unique, that fit me, that would have an impact on the issue of modern day slavery. We live in a world where we're told that as students, we can't change the world. All we can do is go and get an education and do things that feed ourselves, that make ourselves bigger, that really are selfish and self-directed. But God's story is incredibly different. All throughout scripture, he works through teenagers and he seems to love to use kids to do incredible things. And he seems to have this fascination with the passion that kids have. And that's something that we can really harness for God and use for His work. That fact that as teenagers, as high schoolers, a lot of times you can't tell us that we can't do something. We have impossible ideas and the, and the ambition to go after those. And that's something that God can really harness and that He wants to harness. He has beautiful work planned for everybody. And for me, that meant being active in the issue of modern day slavery. For other people, that will mean other things. But the important thing is that we just find something that God puts on our heart, that God tells us that we were designed to go after this, we were designed to do His work in this way. And then allowing Him to open those doors and staying passionately following after Him in those things, even when we face that opposition, just seeking after Him, knowing that we do have the power to change the world and that God is definitely on our side.